In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the total hours worked in Excel. So the first thing I'm going to do is click that and adjust the width of all the cells. I'm also going to adjust the font size as well. Let's make it 16. So in this column, I'm going to put the day of the week. Column B, that's going to be the start time. Column C, that's going to be the end time. And column D will be the number of hours worked for that day. Now let's say this timesheet is for John. Now let's do some formatting. I'm going to make this yellow. Actually, let's make it blue. So let's start with the first day of the week, Monday. Let's say that John, he clocks in at 8 in the morning and he ends at 5 p.m. Now, to get the total hours work for that day, we need to take the difference of cell C2 and B2. So let's type in equal C2 minus B2. And then let's press enter. So notice that we get 9 a.m. Now, that's the number of hours between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's nine hours. But we don't want the answer like this. So first, we're going to multiply this by 24. Excel works with a 24-hour system. Next, we're going to change the number to a general format. And so that gives us the nine hours that, were, that was worked that day. Now, I want to extend the formula. Now, let's make sure that the pattern extended. So here we have C2 minus B2, C3 minus B3, C4 minus B4, and so forth. Now, I only want the five days of the week. So I'm going to stop at Friday. So we can get rid of these three. Now, let's plug in the time for Tuesday. Let's say John gets to work at 8.15, and he clocks out early at 4.36. So we have the number of hours, 8.35 hours. Let's say on the next day, he arrives on time, but he stays a little longer. Let's say he stays till 5.30, so 9.5 hours. Let's say on Thursday, he gets in early at 7.16 a.m., and then he leaves late at, let's say, 7.58 p.m., so that's 12.7 hours. On Friday, he comes in late. Let's say at 8.34, and he leaves very early, let's say 3.45, so that's seven hours. Now, for values like this, what you can do is go to Home, and then you can reduce the number of values at the decimal point. So let's stop it there. Now, to get the total hours work, we can simply type in total. And we can just take the sum of this column. So the total hours worked for this week is 46.73. Now, let's say if you wanted to create a timesheet that extended for the whole month, it might be better to put the total hours somewhere else. So you can type an equal sum, and then you could take the sum of the entire column. So in this case, that's 46.73 hours. But let's say if you were to extend it for the next week, or let's say if he decided to work on the weekend, let's say he gets in at 930, and he leaves at 3 o'clock. 
So we could see the number of hours worked for that day is 5.5. And the total hours have been adjusted accordingly. It changed to 52.2. And if we want to, we can always extend this column as far as we like. And we can see the formula has been adjusted accordingly. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to calculate the total number of hours worked in a job within Excel.